It's frustrating. It's scary. Kim Costello's job is more critical now than ever. She's a respiratory therapist at Staten Island University Northwell Health, which, like so many hospitals, is seeing a terrifying escalation of coronavirus cases. You become attached to people. You know, you know about their families, and, and when these people come in, they're talking to us because they're they're afraid. We're trying to reassure them that they're going to be okay. And it's alarming in the fact that so many people at so many different age groups are coming in. And being very sick. And being very sick. Dr. Theodore Maniitis is the hospital's medical director. This is worse than anything you've ever seen. I've, I've been doing this for 35 years, and this is the worst. Why is it the worst? Because they keep coming. The wave has not stopped. Every time you think you might have a break, there's another four or five patients in a, in sometimes in a few hours. 135 are currently being treated. They often need ventilators for weeks. The shortage of those devices in some areas around the country raising alarm. Northwell's hospital system does have a safety reserve for the moment. We've used anesthesia ventilators in critical care, which is not traditional, but it works. Costello was on duty here during 9-11 and during Superstorm Sandy. We knew that the disaster would be over and we would see a light at the end of the tunnel. With this, we're not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel yet. We're just seeing people come in and come in and come in. And some that just can't get better. That just can't get better. The married mom of two says it's hard not to bring the burden home. 31 patients have died from the virus on Staten Island. How hard is this emotionally for you? It is. It's, it's very emotional. It's hard to, to leave here and go home and not take it with you. Yeah, and hard to know that you can't help somebody out. To know that we can't help everyone, yes. The sad reality is that increasingly hospital medical staff is becoming the family to coronavirus patients who can't have theirs with them when they're the sickest. From Staten Island, Sarah Wallace, News 4 New York.